Welcome everyone to Juno Sweet Just Commentary. So we're going to have a video, Incredible Thailand, a rain making project, of course initiated by the great king of Thailand, the great king of Thailand. Um, of course we're going to check this video and I want to encourage you guys, of course, don't forget to subscribe to Juno Sweet Just Commentary, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. If you want me to react to the video, of course, leave a comment below and I will try my best to react to it. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead. Let's, let's, let's check this out. Of course, the lifting of Thailand have a lot of great projects which is so much benefiting the last season. I watched a video where they went beyond Thailand and they went all the way to Africa to help some a village that's suffering from drought. Sorry, Thailand is the land of abundance which is filled with green rice paddy fields, exactly like right over here. Thai However, there are sounds. areas that are affected Oh, her name is very long. What? Experience hardships wow, I still name it's long. And this led to the start of one of the most important development projects uh, called the Royal Rainmaking Project. Royal Rainmaking Project. By the late king, Pumi Pun Adunyadeir, about wow. 50 years ago. Let's go and find out more about this magnificent project here on Incredible Thailand. Incredible Thailand. Wow. This should be very interesting. I look up into the sky and saw many clouds, but they moved away from the area. The question is how to turn this cloud into rain. Yeah, there was a certain point for the rain. Rain making story was an account written by His Majesty King Pumipon Adunyadeh in the year 2000. His Majesty told the story about his wow. visit to the people in rural remote areas in 15 northeastern provinces from November the 2nd to the 20th, 1955. Wow. During the visit, he learned about the hardships of local people. They face a shortage of water <laughs> for consumption and agriculture wow. because rainfall was inconsistent. His Majesty then wow. started his efforts to make artificial rain through weather modification. His efforts proved successful and later the Roy Rain Making Project was launched. Successful. And when he came back to Bangkok at that time, he devoted himself to study by himself and Roy then talked to Mamrachong Tepalit Tewakun. What? Uh, he's an engineer at that time. And Mamrachong Tepalit Tewakun, he's the one who conveyed his initiative into the. Are you guys understanding this? And the king was the able the king and to create artificial rain or to, to allow the rain to fall he or somehow to influence to how rain can fall and when. You, can, you cannot believe that it's been about 14 years. Yes, 14 years for this experiment. It took 14 years? Holy cow! No, I want to stray, but in my country, we are now con concerned that how we can marry a, a lot of persons are concerned, not every single person, but a lot of persons have expressed that how we can marry well, might have been influenced by man. And it is the main I'm now maybe wondering if it's true. I mean, the here is a king is using it for, for good. But of course, man can use good for ideas for bad. So, was it possible for man to actually influence Hurricane Maria? In the past, was it? This airfield was used as an operation base. Let's focus on this video, but this is just questions on the rising of the man. here are suitable for rain making operations. The area lies adjacent to the coast so there's no hindrance to the operations. It consists of an air traffic control tower with modern equipment. In this location, the sky and clouds are clearly seen in all directions. Wow. More importantly, the area is situated near Glycanwood Palace. I mean, palace. the king used that it idea in a positive way. It was convenient for King Pumipon to drive from the palace to the airport in order to command the rain-making operations himself as well as to plan and adjust the plan for the <laughs> rain making center. This building is considered wow. as very important for the history of the Royal Rain Making Project. Let's go inside to find out more information about this. Come along. Sorry for the video, I am looking like I'm shocked. I'm very much surprised at the idea that we as human beings can in some way influence 
when and how rain falling. Seeing that this project was used in a positive way and it actually worked, Originally, is it possible that man rain can use it for bad? was a working area for His Majesty King Pumipon. It was arranged by the Department this of something Commercial I'm not Aviation. Wondering. Therefore, this place is very significant to the history of wow. the Roy Rain Making Project. The Ministry of Agriculture and Cooperatives has developed this Roy Thumbs Working up to the Area for as a centre for the Roy Rain Making the Project. Are and the around the world, many exhibits on this project in the past. I mean, this is so incredible. Various tools used by His Majesty King Pumipon for his work are on display inside the hall. They include his compasses, maps, pencils, and the even a maps. personal computer for use to compile data. Wow. Old pictures are also put on show here. They tell the story when His Majesty King Rama IX and Mom Ratawong Teparik Tewakun, an agricultural engineering expert, jointly conducted studies and experiments in rain making until they achieve success. What? For example, what? some pictures feature His Majesty explaining the three steps of the rain making process to the operators in 1973. 14 years it took. The first step is called agitation. In the agitation. morning, an aircraft will fly over the target area, which is planned each day. It will sprinkle sodium chloride over the designated area. Sodium chloride will absorb moisture in the air. Then water droplets will emerge and form cloud mass. The second step involves the process of fattening the clouds. What? When the cloud mass is formed, the aircraft will sprinkle calcium chloride to increase the water droplets in size at both the cloud base and the cloud top. The chemical also stimulates cloud growth. The third step involves the technique of attacking the rain clouds. When the cloud mass that increases in size moves toward the target area, the aircraft will attack the rain clouds at two levels. This technique is called Super Sandwich. At an altitude of about 10,000 feet, an aircraft will sprinkle sodium chloride upwind, while another aircraft will sprinkle urea at the cloud base downwind. The two seating aircraft will fly on the opposite side of the clouds, making an angle of 45 degrees. Then the clouds Yo. will become condensed with a larger amount of water droplets falling to the cloud base. Finally, rain is beginning to fall. Despite this great what? success, His Majesty also continued to develop rain making techniques from three steps to six steps as shown in the diagram created by a computer system in the Roy Rain Making Textbook. The textbook contains the Roy guidelines given to personnel involved for their unified operations. The operation is working along with the research. Sometimes we call the experimental operation at that time. And the technology is developing. I don't think you understand. Into, um, how shocked I am. This is a very positive, handbook, positive initiative to, do the to use knowledge in such a positive way. But I am extremely concerned that persons who have, expe who have expressed to me that how we can marry here somehow could have been influenced by man. And I was arguing with them without a doubt saying it's impossible for man to actually influence how we can or how we can marry here. There lies the possibility. Of course, with everything in this world, it can be used for good and it can be used for bad. I mean, everyone was concerned that Hurricane Maria was not natural. A category 2 to a category 5 at 250 miles per hour in less than 5 hours. And the people were saying, how could Hurricane Maria be real? Okay, let's focus on it has been six decades now since the Roy Rain Making Project was launched to ease the difficulties of the people and farmers caused by the wow. drought crisis. There are currently five Roy Rain Making Centers in all parts of the country.
There are in Chiang Mai in the north, La Khon Sawan in the central region, Khon Kaen in the northeast, Rayong in the east, and Surat Thani in the south. Wow. The majority of our activity is to increase the rainfall in agricultural area to add the moisture to the soil and also to add the water into the reservoirs wow. in the country. We have five centers in the regional center to take care of that kind of operation. But uh, the operation or the service is not limited. <laughs> Do, I am actually stunned. We also do some other services like uh, disaster prevention. The rain is not only that we can do it every day, every day, every day. We have to do the first thing. The first thing is that we have to have water in the water. Do you have water in the water? So it can be done anytime. The second thing is that we have to have water in the water. We have to look at the water in the water. Is there a lot of water in the water that will help us to do it? ไอ้น้ำดูมรกาศขึ้นไปสู่ข้างบนนะครับอันที่สามก็คือเรื่องลมลมนะครับซึ่งต้องดูว่าลมแรงถ้าลมแรงมากเมฆก็ยอดขาดก็ไม่ปลอดภัยเป็นเมฆได้นะครับก็ก็ต้องอาศัยตรงนี้นะครับพอเรารู้เรื่องสภาพอากาศความพร้อมอะไรต่างๆทางด้านเครื่องบินสารพ่นหลวงสภาพอากาศสามสี่อย่างนี้เราก็ต้องไปดูพื้นที่ว่าเขาต้องการฝนหรือเปล่านะครับ Wow, they probably need to win or not. Ay, ay, ay. Apart from serving as a center for disseminating information and transferring <coughs> technology in Roy Rainmaking, the Hoi Yin Roy Rainmaking Center is also the location of the Upper South Rainmaking Operation Center. I am amazed and I would like to commend this project. Operations I am amazed. Provinces. Please forgive me if I'm not shocked by the last one. Who is a young scientist? What? How old is he? He's looking young. I culture. Officials are making preparations to bring chemicals onto the three airplanes. These airplanes will be used for Roy rain making operations wow. after an assessment shows that climatic conditions today are suitable for rain making wow. in the areas. We shall visit the Ministry of Energy. 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 แล้วก็ความเร็วลมก็วันนี้ลมจะเป็นลมตะวันตกนะครับมาจากคำพม่าพัดเข้ามาในพื้นที่ของเราความเร็วลมอยู่ที่ประมาณสิบนะครับก็เกณฑ์ต่างๆโอเคครับผมสามารถขึ้นดินทำฝนได้ Rainmaking is starting soon. Hope all goes well as planned. Wow. Three planes on a mission to create rain. What? And wow. The Royal so green. Operations today target wow. drought stricken farmland in San Royon and Brambury districts, Raju of Kirikan province. Soon after departing from the airport, the Roy Rainmaking team has arrived in the target large cloud mass area. The step of agitating is starting. Wow! <laughs> the three aircraft are flying upwind I and begin to sprinkle sodium chloride onto clouds that are forming into cloud mass vertically. This will stimulate the air mass to float up high in order to produce steam or humidity. Then steam will form rain clouds. I am, um, I'm loving the idea. I must admit, but I'm just so baffled. Man is so wise, huh? Human beings are wise. Around one hour after the operations, the three airplanes will fly back to Hoi Hin Airport. Then rain-making scientists begin to assess climatic change and closely monitor the cloud mass. The result is that the rain clouds have developed and are moving quickly toward the target area, quite beyond expectations. 
With this information, the scientists have decided to operate the second step of rain making in the next one hour. Back on the move again. Oh my god. This great king of Thailand. The three aircraft take off again to operate the second step, fattening the rain clouds. Wise king. The cloud mass that was Such a wise in the first king. Step clearly forms rain clouds. Wow. Calcium chloride that is sprinkled from the aircraft makes the water droplets condense. It also stimulates cloud growth. <laughs> Yo, you didn't get it. You do you get it? After the second step is launched, the cloud mass becomes larger quite quickly. Rain begins to fall, but the amount is still minimal and the area is not the target one. The Roy Rain making team will fly the aircraft back to Hoi Airport again. They have got to get more. The Roy Rain making chemicals are transported quickly to be in time for the operations. There is not much time to do so. Prichok Kirikan province is the narrowest area in Thailand. If rain cannot be controlled to fall in the target area, the cloud mass may move it to fall in the sea. If so, the rain making operations this Was time will face a failure. Wow. Hmm. Oh, wow. Again, I don't think there's the any king the time. in this a our generation or in our lifetime that have done such incredible work. The aircraft enter the rain clouds that start to produce rain. More importantly, the rain clouds are moving toward the target area, so the step of attacking must start immediately. The airplanes will perform their duties to conduct the last step in the process. The first airplane will sprinkle sodium chloride on the cloud top at an altitude of not over 10,000 feet upwind. The second airplane will sprinkle urea at the cloud base downwind. This step of attacking is called the super sandwich technique. The third airplane will spread dry ice at the cloud base at an altitude of about 10,000 feet. This will enhance the bombardment of clouds in order to increase the amount of rain. It is also intended to move the rain clouds toward the target areas more quickly and for fruitful results. Wow. Mm. This video is long, right? And I don't forget how long the video is because every single thing is so incredible and it's you're right, it's incredible Thailand because the whole idea of this is incredible! And yet still I'm so much concerned. Honestly, when the rain is going to fall, I want to see this, man. They're back. Wow. What a time to be alive. for today's operation is finally complete. Let's go and see the results. That's what I'm saying. What are we going to see? Weather checking from the radar shows that artificial rain making today struck the target areas as planned. It can be said that the operations achieved success quite beyond expectations. The rain spread to the vast areas in Bramburi and Zamroy Yard districts. It will help ease the drought problem and increase the water volume in the dam as well. ก็วันนี้ก็ฝนก็ลงพื้นที่ประมาณนี้นี่ลงน้ําเสร็จปานบุรีนะครับแล้วก็พื้นที่การเกษตรนะครับปานบุรีสามร้อยยอดก็เป
ก็ทําให้เมฆโขยิ่งก่อตัวใหญ่มากวันนี้ก้อนหนึ่งนี่เกือบ20ไมล์นะครับใหญ่มากวันนี้ใหญ่มากความสูงนี่ไม่ต่ำกว่าจ็ดมืนะครับเราเจ้าที่3เราขึ้นไปเสริมการโจมตีนะครับด้วยคาราแวนทั้ง3เครื่องเนี่ยปริมาณฝนตกมากนะครับในพื้นที่ลุ่มรับน้ำเกือบปันบุรีแล้วก็เกือบแสนด้วยแล้วก็รวมทั้งพื้นที่ Do they have a way to get rid of mosquitoes? Did the king figure that one? Because I can't deal with all these mosquitoes. Because of the success of the Roy Rainmaking operations, sorry, more than 5,000 people request these operations each year. What? Apart from providing assistance to drought-stricken people, Roy Rainmaking has also been employed to tackle other problems. Such as those concerning forest fires and haze pollution. Yeah, wow. It has also been launched to increase water volumes in many dams, as from? requested by various agencies. How has Thailand benefited from the Royal Rainmaking Project? This is incredible. Um, actually, for benefit for the Royal Rainmaking, or the benefit that Thailand get. Uh, we can say that the Royal Rainmaking is the part of the national water management of the country. We add more water than the national water that we can get. We can extract water in the sky into water for our consumption. And uh, we can say that for the Royal Rainmaking is contributed to the Food security and water security of the country. Wow. The Roy Rain making innovation has eased the hardships of the affected people in Thailand. Many My countries gosh. worldwide are interested in this innovation. They have sent personnel to learn about Roy Rain making technology. When they went back, they have used this technology to tackle problems in their own countries. Wow. So, besides Thailand, other countries also benefit from the royal rainmaking because we share our knowledge, the royal rainmaking knowledge to other countries too, am I right? Yes. Now we have the cooperation um, work with the 11 countries already to transfer Which are 11 the countries? knowledge. That they request to transfer the knowledge. I wish you mentioned it. Technique to use in their countries. But the, the most significant one is the Jordan and uh, we have already give the training course for, for the Jordanian participants wow. three times already in Thailand and they have learned how to operate uh, I need to go to Thailand boy I need to everything about Thailand is indeed taken. incredible the people of food the genius idea Wow History, the king. Right. Yep, thumbs up for sure. This is incredible. This but is that's surely incredible. To Jordan, also in ASEAN countries, even King Rama the ninth. What a wise cooperation king. in vessel modification or car seating for a long time, but. Back to 1990-something, about 1990s, that the, wow. this country approached to Thailand also to request to learn this technique of royal rain making. And the king was, he was very kind, so he sent experts to teach them in Malaysia, Philippines, and ah, Philippines. Indonesia, ah. and Sri Lanka. Hey. The great king of Thailand, what a wise chap, what a wise chap he is. Wow. Oh my gosh. Great king of Thailand. Created rain. Oh my. He, come on, let's admit. Let's admit. There are not much leaders that top the king of Thailand. Honestly, I mean, this is significantly important. I will, I was, I, I must admit now, 
I think what is a strange thing about water is that if it's too much, then it will cause trouble. Yes, if exactly. It's little, then the people will suffer. The we got too much. Lucky to have the great king who was concerned for the well-being of his people. Yeah, definitely. And then initiated a magnificent project, the Royal Rainmaking Project, to wash away the people's wow. suffering and troubles. And this is incredible Thailand for today. Hey. Wow, this was a great video. Ah. I must admit, as I said, that um, right now I am starting to believe that what people are telling me might be true. Not, of course, not about the king or the project, but the fact that man, man could have possibly influenced Hurricane Maria. Um, I'm not saying yes, I'm not saying no, but I mean, I did not realize that people have that sort of knowledge and kind of power to actually influence the weather. I thought the weather was totally and always will be natural, but man apparently found a way. Nonetheless, the king uses knowledge for good, for the betterment of the people and the world by extension. I just hope that no one uses it for bad, honestly. So thank you very much for requesting that I react to this video. Definitely my reaction was, oh my god. Thank you very much. Subscribe to Judas with just a commentary. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. If you want me to react to the video, leave a comment below and I'll try my best to react to it. Thank you very much. Bye guys.